Okay. Let's talk college football for just a minute, uh, and we'll get started here in town at San Diego State. Aztecs off to a really rocky start, and that head coach is under fire. I'm talking about Brady Hoke. Uh, this, this whole issue, the cloud of the Matt Ariza story is still out there and still unresolved. The inability for them to move the football on offense, the fact that they are starting three young guys in the offensive front who got destroyed by Pac-12 pass rushers mm -hmm. in the loss to Arizona, the loss to Utah. And then out of the clear blue sky, the transfer of the quarterback of the future in Will Haskell, which was a stunner for everybody. Haskell came off the bench when Braxton Burmaster got hurt again. He had three snaps, didn't execute anything, and they yanked him, which shocked me. It shocked everybody. And then they they, they put the raw freshman, Kyle Crum, in, and mm -hmm. he struggled against Utah for a while. And then the fourth quarter, he let him on a touchdown drive when it was the Aztecs against Utah's backup guys. But huge controversy about why Brady Hoke can't develop quarterbacks and why Brady Hoke could not keep the blue chip future guy in the program. Now, we don't know the full fabric of what's transpired there at San Diego State. Uh, I'm, I, I'm hating to be critical because Brady Hoke has had such a nice run there since he came back, 31 and 18. But they've never developed a great offense. And the reality is, Four starting quarterbacks in the last three years have now transferred out of San Diego State. That, to me, is a bad optic. That, to me, says they can't develop quarterbacks. Their philosophy of what they're going to do on offense isn't working in the big picture of things. And what is the relationship of quarterbacks to the head coach, to the coordinator? And Brady got all upset at the Tuesday press conference when I pressed him on the optics of what does that look like to you? He got really upset. And he came back, came back at me with a statement that says, young players of today, if I'm not playing, I'm not staying. I guess there's a little bit of truth there. We don't know the rest of the story. Did, did Will Haskell not handle adversity very well? Did, did Will Haskell think he was entitled to be the starter? Was he offended when they went and got the Virginia Tech quarterback, Braxton Burmeister, for one more year? His parents whispering in his ear, you're the man. You should be starting. You're the man. So we don't know all the dynamics of what happened in the conversation, but Brady Hoke's taken a lot of hits. Jeff Hecklinski, his offensive coordinator, has taken a lot of hits. John, I might be the only one covering <laughs> the Aztecs that is of the opinion they were overscheduled. All their young offensive linemen got overwhelmed. Burmeister's had two injuries in three games because of all the hits he's taken trying to make plays. I'm the only one that I know of the opinion – they can beat Toledo, and they could probably run the table in the Mountain West Conference because based on what I've seen in the Mountain West, most of the conference is down. And the Aztecs calling card? Defense. So I'm, I'm saying it right now. San Diego State could beat Toledo, should beat Toledo. And if that happens, they go play a downtrodden Boise State team. Boise is not the same program. Granted, they still have to go to Fresno. But the rest of the, the conference is way down. Colorado State's got no quarterback at all. Nevada does not have a quarterback for some reason or all. Hawaii is downtrodden. San Jose has lost all of its guys. New Mexico has no offense at all based on Rocky Lung's defense. That's what they're living off of. I think the Aztecs could run the table now. Maybe that – and I'm not a San Diego State graduate. you know. So I, that's what I think. I always tell Brady Hoke what I believe and what I think. So you tell me, agree or disagree, am I full of garbage or not? What happens at San Diego State? What's your reaction to what just happened at San Diego I mean, Diego I was State? shocked that that Will Haskell was pulled after one series. I was like, wow, what happened? There had to be a lot more going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. But but the Twitter is just on fire calling for Hecklinski's head. Some people calling for a change at the top with, with Brady Hoke. Um, you know, when, when they got blown out in week one against Arizona, I was willing to say, you know, weird circumstances, 100 degrees, new stadium. But, man, it was embarrassing what happened at Utah. And you knew Utah was going to be great, but not it wasn't going to be that bad. But they didn't get a first down until the third quarter. So I'm hopeful. I'm always optimistic, glass half full. Uh, should they beat Toledo? Yeah, but what is it going to be, like 10 to 3? Is that what the score is going to end up being? We'll see.